Hey there guys, so I recently got a brand new welder and today I'm going to be making a welding cart for it. If you haven't noticed, many of my more recent videos have had a bit more metalworking included and it's just something I've wanted to get more into in the future. So I decided to up upgrade my old welder to a newer welder. This is a 4190. It's a multi-process machine, so it means it does stick, MIG, as well as TIG welding. I've never done TIG, but hopefully it's going to result in some cooler projects and just an improvement in my quality of uh, metalworking and welding. So let's get started on the cart and see how it turns out. So with this being my first serious welder, I really don't have a good welding setup. I'm using an old workbench with a piece of eighth inch steel plate uh, set on top of it. Definitely not the most ideal circumstances, but uh, it's what I got right now. For my design, I'm trying to accomplish a basic three shelf cart uh, that I've seen used in many commercial carts as well as some custom ones. And I'm just tacking together the lower shelf right now that will eventually hold the wheels and the uprights that will also hold the upper two shelves. One thing you'll see me using a lot of during these tack welds is these little angled magnets. Uh, they do a great job of holding everything in uh, both 90 and 45 degree angles. And you'll see right here, I'm using them to hold up the second and third shelves as I uh, just tack them in as well. This diagonal support served two main purposes. One obviously was to give support to the uprights and the shelves. Uh, but the other was I just thought it kind of gave it a cool look um, and now I am just uh, tacking in all of the cross supports uh, for the shelves so I can put some sheet metal on them. After the main frame was pretty much finished, I then started on a little uh, toolbox or tote uh, that was going to also act as a drawer on the second shelf. Uh, this is actually galvanized steel and I didn't quite get all of the galvanizing off when I was welding so you'll see some uh, uh, not too good smoke here in a couple of the shots. Uh, but once it was pretty much all finished together, I uh, finished up the corners with some extra welds and then sanded them off. And overall, I was pretty happy with it. It was my uh, first experience really welding on some thin sheet metal. And uh, overall, it turned out pretty cool. Okay, so it's all done and I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Um, it's pretty much the three shelf uh, cart that I was planning on uh, with enough room to put a plasma cutter or something on the bottom as well as some shelves and uh, little rolling options. So let me grab the camera, let me kind of show you everything in a little more detail and then I'll show you what it looks like with the welder and other tools on it. Okay, starting off with the top, obviously this is where the main welder is going to sit. And it's got a front handle and a back handle. Um, these can also double as places to put clamps and different things like that. I left these open because I may have some future uh, plans for these for like a little side folding table, but I'm not sure quite yet. Uh, moving down to the second shelf, this is my sliding option. I made this, so you saw me weld the, some sheet metal together. Uh, the outsides came out pretty nice. 
Uh, but the insides are uh, not finished because I just didn't really uh, want to finish those. But anyway, I, this can just function basically as a drawer as it is. Or if I want to, I can take this out to a project or whatever I might need. Um, it's just got a simple grate down here, so I could just use it like that. Moving down to the bottom shelf, my primary intention is to put a plasma cutter down here uh, or something like that. But if I don't decide to do that, I made the shelf big enough to where it can take a standard uh, milk crate in case I just want to store extra tools, clamps, and things like that. Moving on to the back, you'll notice I have a couple of hooks right here and here to be able to hold up uh, ground clamps or lead cables or uh, a welding helmet, whatever I want. And then you'll notice I've got two bars here that I can also clamp things to or just store clamps. And then down here is the bottle bracket. Uh, this is just a simple piece of copper sheet metal um, <laughs> that holds the bottle in place and I just thought uh, it gave it a pretty classy look. And then on the other side, I installed just with that same metal that I made these hooks with, just a little uh, bar here that I can hook some clamps or a angle grinder or whatever like that. And then I also installed some hooks down here to be able to hold some uh, power cords and things like that in a little more of a uh, uh, kind of uh, hidden fashion. So they're just mounted to the uh, backside of the bottle bracket. So now let's see what this looks like with everything installed on it. All right guys, that's pretty much it. I am so excited to have this welding cart finished. I have plans to use it on a lot more videos and projects in the future. So as always, I appreciate you watching. Uh, please subscribe, leave any comments down below if you have any questions regarding this or maybe uh, future welding projects. And as always, we will see you next time.